everyone it's the weekend so welcome back to another weekend vlog right now we are just about to head up to Dayton to visit some family and we have Nate in the cutest outfit ever and it, today's the first day of fall so we're all wearing our fall clothes and we are ready to get going especially Nate because he hates sitting in the car without moving Hi. He says, I'm over it let's move Hi, baby. Hi. Oh. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Monday, and it's like going on noon right now. Actually, it's not afternoon. It is noon. It's a pretty rainy day outside, so it's like super dreary. And yes, I'm still in my pajamas. Um, Nate's over there. So I did a terrible job of vlogging. This weekend, my hair is crazy. I bet I haven't even, haven't even bothered fixing it. Um, I did a terrible job vlogging this weekend. So what we did was we went up to our hometown and we saw my grandma and my aunt and my cousin. And then we went to, oh, and we also saw my mom. And then we went to Alex's parents and we hung out there for a little bit. Um, then we came back home and we planned on going to the Oktoberfest in our city, but they it was like raining by the time we got home. So we just came home and we actually kind of had our own Oktoberfest here. We did like hot do veggie dogs um, with caramelized onions, sauerkraut, and Dijon mustard, and it was delicious. So I figured I would actually show you guys how to make my crock pot chili recipe. I have it up on a blog post, but um, I have a lot more subscribers on here than I do my blog, so I figured I would go ahead and film it also because it's really easy and really delicious. So I thought I would go ahead and film that for you guys um, and maybe you could try it out because it's really delicious and it's also perfect for fall. And yeah, I'll show you guys because I'm about to throw it in the crock pot right now. Okay, so for the base of the soup, I use one whole package of vegetable broth, which is about four cups. And then I go in with a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Then I add one can of chili kidney beans, one can of great northern beans, and I drain the liquid from this one. One can of chipotle rotel. And then I do about a cup and a half of cooked chickpeas, but um, we cook these at home almost every week, so you could totally do a can also. Um, that's normally what I would do if I didn't already have some prepared. And then I'll toss in this bag of frozen chopped uh, pebble peppers and onions. And I like this a lot because it's a lot easier than having to chop them all up yourself, but obviously fresh is always better and better tasting. so. You know, do whatever you would prefer. Do about one tablespoon of garlic powder. And then I'll go in with about a tablespoon of chili powder. And then I do about one teaspoon of ground cumin. And then this is what our soup looks like. And I set it on low for about four to six hours. It just depends really. You guys also could make this on the stovetop really easily. Um, it's really just a matter of getting it hot. It doesn't really need to cook other than the frozen fajitas. Uh, so yeah. Now I'm just gonna let this sit, um, probably until about five or six o'clock. I just put my robe on because I'm a little cold. Um, it's time to get nat Nate down for his afternoon nap. So typically that means, um, I try to put him in his crib. Hopefully it works out sometimes. I mean, he's still getting used to it, so sometimes he'll wake up really often. But um, I'm trying to teach him that his crib is for sleeping slowly but surely. Um, so we're going to take our little afternoon nap. And usually what I'll do is rock him to sleep in his room while it's dark. And I'll play some nice music. And then I'll just kind of slowly transfer him to the crib. It's a work in progress, though, so... I try to get him nice and tired out though before nap time and he's been playing here for a little bit so yeah we're gonna start that process and then hopefully 
it's successful hopefully I get them down and then I can start packing because I need to start packing for Chicago oh bless you I do go. Nathaniel see someone is so hyper after their nap and serving it with some cornbread and I will link the cornbread recipe below for you all it looks like it turned out really good Okay, so that's it for this vlog. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you next time. My next vlog will be a Chicago travel vlog uh, for Michael's graduation. So I will see you then. Bye.